Hey guys, how's it going? Cheers back again with episode number 17 of Pac-Man. Now we're having a few less episodes of this recently. Obviously we've changed the uh, the schedule on the channel. We're now doing four episodes of Career Mode a week and, a week, and two episodes of Pac-Man. Monday, Tuesday, Career Mode. Wednesday, Pac-Man. Uh, Thursday, Friday, Career Mode. Saturday, Pac-Man. And then Sunday, another form of Ultimate Team video, whether it be a squad builder or... Uh, a pack opening or something but speaking of packs we've got a season ticket pack and we're going to open it in the background right now as you can see we're opening up it's a seven and a half grand gold pack and oh boy does it have a good player in it i'm going to open it up on screen as you can see just now we'll wait for the little spinny goldy ball to turn around and i will wait for the man to flick up on screen and as you can see it is david alaba a wonderful left back one that we've uh, we've currently got at spurs in the career mode series at left back and uh, as you can see seven players in the same pack including a couple of uh, Premier League players, Michael Dawson and Gaston Ramirez, and a couple of Brazilian players, Elias and Artem Moreira. So an all-round wonderful, wonderful pack to uh, to get us off the mark with uh, some extra players in uh, our individual different squads that we have. We've got about four different squads at the minute. But one thing that I'm going to do with a Labba, obviously we sold on Piszczek. Now, I'm not going to sell on a Labba, and I'm going to tell you why. Obviously, last time I made uh, a big thing about selling Pistec and an explanation, and uh, since that happened, I've, and the backlash from that, I've uh, I've made this decision about a Labba. Basically, we're going to keep him, even if well, this is going to count for next gen as well when we restart the series. Even if we get fantastic, expensive players in packs, we're not going to sell them on even if we don't have a team that they currently fit into because as you can tell we've picked up another couple of uh, Bundesliga players that we're going to be able to put into squads so far so um, I'm going to keep all the best players even if we don't have the, the most amount of money in the world we're going to keep the best players even if they can't play for us immediately they will be able to at some point so from here on out I apologise for the uh, disappointment caused by the piss check sale uh, that sort of situation is now resolved we now know what we're going to do going forward into the future for not only this first series but obviously the second series of Pac-Man coming for next gen as well as you see Kevin Karani gets us back in this game after going 2-1 down 4-1 back on the 45th minute and we're actually going to come close here Canny's going to get a couple of good turns in and uh, fire away a shot towards that top right hand corner and unfortunately the goalkeeper makes a good save now this guy was pretty good he is, uh, his legal one side was extremely tired and uh, I was hoping that we were going to be able to take advantage of that but unfortunately his quality shone through on an individual level and uh, and obviously on a chemistry level as well so uh, we weren't able to pull out a victory in that one and as you can see we still sat with one game left just two points away from promotion to division seven so I made a change to the uh, to the side we brought in the left center back there as you can see Paulo the Brazilian from Betis he slots in there in in place of Grantquist he is a little bit faster and does improve the chemistry overall so hopefully we can head into this game and get a better result from it but it is an extremely strong La Liga side a lot of fantastic talent in there including Diego Costa, Karim Benzema, Pepe, Ran, Alex Song, Luka Modric really really fast Valencia wingers in Guardado and Faguli so uh, we really were going to be up against it in this one we get off to a controversial start it's a Raspe, our holding midfielder breaks through one friend looks as if he's got the ball but the defender just it's hard to tell from that camera angle you'll be able to see from the replay he actually doesn't get the ball you see him come through and it's actually Interaspe turns his body twists at the hips and uh, he gets actually the ball deflects away from uh, Interaspe shins as Wanfran comes through behind him so personally I think it is a foul I think it is a red card and hopefully we can push on from that get ourselves a decent result but Benzema comes close catching us on the counter attack with pace nice finesse shot unfortunately comes back off the post for them but a let off for us really we were going to have to step it up if we we're going to get anything from this one there's a bit of a scramble here in the box a couple of block shots and uh, Karani is going to do the work again it finds his way to Tosic and we've relied so heavily on him for goals recently and we do so again that is a fantastic finesse shot across the goalkeeper into that bottom corner now he has a wonderful team but Raul Bravo isn't the best of goalkeepers he is good don't get me wrong he is an extremely good goalkeeper does have high diving and reflex stats but his overall play is a little bit suspect he makes a good save there but does palm it back into uh, into danger but fortunately for him the goal my scramble ends in him being able to clear the ball and they go on a counter attack they do catch us with pace you can see Benzema's breaking down the middle no one really tracks the run they just let him run through the lines and uh, that is a world class finish there's absolutely nothing I could have done about that goal and uh, he gets himself back in the game at 1-1 in the 34th minute and uh, much deserved really to be fair he uh, defended very very soundly 
getting a little bit of luck like you saw with the uh, the goal mash scrambles but we get a lovely through ball there Tosic is through again and it's just a formality from then on he's on his left foot he's got a finesse shot opportunity goes into the top corner and we go in at half time with a 2-1 lead as you can see heavily on top a lot of chances a lot of possession and I was confident going into the second half that we were going to be able to continue to keep up the uh, the winning mentality but Benzema is going to break through here just a couple of minutes after half time gets a decent shot away and uh, does win the corner nothing really comes from the corner and he actually rage quit on me I don't know whether his game froze or uh, he was just a general rage quit I was playing a bit of passing football about after that corner as you can see there weren't really that many opportunities in uh, the opening 10 minutes of the second half but he did quit we do get the win that gives us 13 points enough for promotion out of Division 8 into Division 7 we've got 13,000 coins since we uh, got the 3,200 I think it was for winning promotion out of Division 8 so we're going to open a seven and a half grand pack. Now uh, the season ticket pack brought an extremely good player with a seven and a half k pack, but other than that, we haven't had any rare players in a seven and a half k pack. And once again, we don't get any more rare players in a seven and a half k pack. And I've said seven and a half k pack so many times in the past five seconds. But we do get Rolfes, who is an extremely good holding midfielder for the Bundesliga team, a thousand coins, which will help, and a Morgan Schneidlin, which will add to the Premier League side that we've also got building at present. So. We've done it very, very well in this episode. We've got ourselves some good players, some good packs, some good consumables, points and a promotion. So all round, very, very pleased with how things are going so far. So do feel free to leave the video a like. If you could be so kind, that would be absolutely wonderful. If you aren't subscribed already, then do feel free to... Do feel free to do so, is what I'm trying to say. There is a link in the description to subscribe and on screen as an annotation over the Pac-Man. And if you missed the previous episode, then there will be an annotation over the pink ghost on your screen. So you can check that out. And if you don't follow me on Twitter already, do so at Chesnoid Gaming, And there will be a link in the description to that as well. So that is going to wrap this particular one up. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you next time.